This is actually my third attempt to capture Snorlax because I keep on killing him and last time I had been fighting him for over 20 minutes and there was nothing that I could do. Um, he kept on using Rust and I even, run, I even ran out of PP on Flamethrower on Twilight which is my strongest Pokemon so literally I think it's kind of impossible to kill this Pokemon or catch him effectively. He even broke something like seven of my Great Balls and wow, he's rest right away. Didn't even bother headbutting me or anything. So maybe this time, third time, we'll do the, we'll do the trick. I really hope it does because this is probably the lamest fight in video game history. This is going to be so boring. Oh, and then he uses Yawn, and then I'm probably going to fall asleep in three turns. Uh, the flamethrower again. Let's use, use that again. Oh my god, my neighbors are throwing fireworks at this time of the day. Why would they do that? And one. Oh my god, I. Yeah, that makes sense. So, he's gonna go into back. I'm pretty sure I've got an awakening right here. I think I picked this up at the Pokemon Tower. So now that we have woken up, I'm going to use Flamethrower again. I don't think that's going to kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. I probably should have used Ember. Oh god. Yes. I'm going to capture him. Like, I know I'm going to capture him. Just use Bag. And that uh, pisses me off when people throw fireworks at this time of the day. God damn, dude, I cannot capture this guy. He is Yawn, okay. Well, what am I to do right now? Maybe I should switch Pokemon. No, I'm not going to switch Pokemon. He's going to use another Great Ball. And I'm just wondering, if I used three flamethrowers, how come I didn't get any burns or anything like that? One, two, three. No. No. Oh my god. Let's keep an easy great balls. Please. Please. Yes! I got him! Oh! I must have basically spent something like half an hour trying to capture this Pokemon, resetting the game because I kept on killing him. Yes, I will give him a nickname. It's going to be. Uh, fat ass. Fat Fapper. That's what I'm gonna call him. Fat. F to the A to the double P. Fat Fapper. There we go. We did it. And now I'm gonna save my game because that's my greatest achievement so far. <laughs> Pokemon. Yes, it's okay to override it. Where exactly does this take me? I can't remember where this takes me, but... Oh, Route 11. Okay. And I believe that Route 11 takes me to Celadon City. I'm not really sure if that's the case or not, but for the first time in my life, I'm able to him over here, and uh, I guess I'm going to switch to Pikachu, because he's a an electric type Pokemon, so I suppose that there's going to be lots and lots of fishers in here. If I'm not mistaken, there should be, this guy's going to give me some sort of lure or something like that. Here, yeah. I do like to fish. Super Rod, yay! Okay, well, that was really helpful. From this is two rivers. Go out and you catch a big okay, I wanna see it. Sure. A gigantic magic heart. I already have a magic heart, but I wanted to get a Gyarados or whatever you call that Pokemon, but just go into back key items and select the super rod. I'm gonna use A and register. There we go. Probably gonna bother about doing that later on. 
Oh no, electricity is his speciality. I probably should be using a ground type Pokemon such as... I forgot his name. I'll talk well, there's nothing I can really do to this guy, so I'm going to switch to yet another Pokemon. Um, use Anarchists. And let's use Magnitude or something. <laughs> so if you use Santom, Pure Swap, Stick, it's going to be super effective. Oh no. <laughs> that was retarded. <laughs> I won't change the I never really liked Electrope, like it's a cool Pokemon, but I I don't know, I don't really like him. It's super effective. Yay. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was going to confuse me or something. But it didn't, so... Oh my god, that did, that did nothing to him. Hey! What do you know? That actually worked pretty well. And I believe that's going to be the last water type trainer that I'm ever going to encounter. Uh, electric type trainer that I'm going to encounter right here. So there's probably going to use Pidgey or something. So... Camper Justin Bieber. Well, I guess I'm just gonna use Thunderbolt. I love how accurate Thunderbolt is. It's definitely my favorite attack on, I guess, Pikachu. Is he going to use Rhino? I think it is going to do that, so. Uh, I should use Anarchist, because if I'm not mistaken, he is weak against ground type Pokemon, so let's try and do this. Oh, it was made a Reno. Well, I guess this should do the trick as well. I hate Horn Attack, it's such a powerful attack. Oh, it is super effective. I didn't think it would be, but it is, so... It's not very effective. Please don't poison me, nice. Get it, I'm just gonna use Mod Slap. It's probably going to kill him. It did, it's super effective too, nice. Not a lot of money, but I found iron. So, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I have no idea where this is going to take me. Wow, level 24 magic card, but he hasn't evolved yet. Wow. Okay, so let's just use Thunderbolt. Now, I hate how little experience this thing gives you. We're gonna give him like 200 EXP. Uh, 100. That's even worse than I thought. Nah, I won't change Pokemon. I wish this guy had a Giardos. Although I can probably find a rare Pokemon and that grass. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Well, I mean, yeah, I am. Let's do this. 
I think I can find a Kadabra here. But I'm not exactly sure that's the case. If I find an Ekans or something playing like that, I'm just gonna run from this place. Yeah, I was expecting something a little more exciting. Apparently not. Wow, just another Pidgey. Level 27, well, that's pretty good. But I'm just gonna use Thunderbolt to try and level my Pikachu all the way up to level 37. Wow, well, it's gonna take forever if I keep doing that. If, the, if it's if this is another Pidgey, I'm just going to run, but it's not, so. Use shock. I don't think it's going to be very effective against Oddish. Yeah, it's not. So I'm gonna use Thunderbolt and I'll try to capture him. Hey. Oh, I'm just gonna use Quick Attack, actually. Because that never really misses. Acid, wow. Please don't poison my big tree. I'm gonna use Quick Attack again and I'll try and capture. Oh no. Well, I think I have lots and lots of antidotes, but I'm not exactly sure. Let's just go into bag. I'm sure I'll, I'll catch him. He's not gonna pop out. He's paralyzed, so... I got him! Yay! Okay, let's just call him Onion, because he looks like an ally. He looks like one. So, all caps, I'm not even gonna switch, I'm gonna switch. <laughs> Onion. And let's just get out of here. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Now let's go to our bag and find an antidote. Should be... Uh, it should be somewhere out here. It's not... Oh, here it is. Let's use that on Pikachu. And there we go. Going. Less fight I'll get into and uh before I end the episode. Because I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. But it's probably a long time. I'm just gonna use Thunder Bolt. Because that's why roll. A level 37. Polywag. No, I'm not gonna switch. And right now, I think all I need to do is learn some really strong water type attacks for Tails. And then teach him or her to surf. Because that's really going to be effective. And maybe I could actually capture a Dragonair or a Dratini or something. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I finally caught some Pokemon that I really wanted to catch, such as Anion and, most importantly, Snorlax. So, have a good one, and I'm out. Bye.